Greetings from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It is a beautiful place, but it has an infamous nickname, and for good reason. Beneath calm waves, danger hides in plain sight. This is no ordinary coastline. Here, ships vanish, islands appear and disappear, and the sea swallows homes. Locals call it the Graveyard of the Atlantic. Moniker of the Graveyard of the Atlantic. Over 5,000 ships have met their end in these waters. Powerful currents twist below the surface, reshaping the land every day. Pirates once ruled here, but today, storms and rising seas hold the crown. What makes this place so deadly? And with our planet changing fast, could it get even worse? Stay with me as we uncover the secrets of Earth's most treacherous coastline. Graveyard of the Atlantic. Shipwreck. Legacy. The name alone sends chills down the spine. The Graveyard of the Atlantic. It's not just a nickname. It's a warning carved into history. Stretching along the coast of North Carolina, this place has claimed over 5,000 ships and 5,000 stories lost to the depths. One of those stories belongs to a man you've probably heard of, Blackbeard, the infamous English pirate. In 1718, his ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, ran aground in these deadly waters. He wasn't the first victim and won't be the last. The Outer Banks, a chain of narrow barrier islands, has trapped many before him. These islands look beautiful from the air, but they hide dangers just beneath the waves. Shifting sands and hidden shoals wait like silent predators. For centuries, sailors feared this coastline. Even skilled captains struggled here. Strong winds, sudden storms, and tricky currents pulled ships into the shoals. Wooden hulls splintered like twigs. Crews fought for their lives as waves swallowed them whole. But the danger doesn't sleep. To this day, the same forces continue their work. Ships still run aground. Wrecks still surface from the sands, as if the ocean tells us stories from long ago. And as we look closer, we start to understand this is not just a place of history. It is a living, breathing, and very dangerous graveyard. Anatomy of a Treacherous Coastline The Outer Banks is not a solid wall against the ocean. It is a moving puzzle, a restless line of sand, always shifting under the force of wind and waves. What you see today may not be there tomorrow. The land here is alive, but it does not grow. It breaks apart, moves, and disappears. Take Oregon Inlet, for example. This wide gap between islands was once solid land. Then, in 1846, a hurricane struck with brutal force. The storm ripped straight through the barrier island, tearing it in two. That gap never closed. Today, it is one of the many paths the ocean uses to reshape the coast. The sands here never stay still, shoals form beneath the water, building up as waves slow and drop their sediment load. These underwater ridges are unpredictable. One day, they are safe passage. The next, they are deadly traps. Mariners have feared them for centuries and for good reason. Even the islands themselves play a dangerous game. In 2017, a new island appeared almost overnight. They called it Shelley Island. It stretched over a kilometer and a half, but just as quickly as it came, it was gone. Hurricane Maria swept it away, leaving no trace behind. The Outer Banks teaches one lesson again and again. Nothing here is permanent. The land changes as fast as the sea, and for those who live and sail here, Survival means respecting the power of this ever-shifting coast. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Deadly ocean currents and perfect storms. The waters here hold even greater dangers if the shifting sands weren't enough. Beneath the surface, powerful currents twist and collide. This is where two giants of the ocean meet. The warm Gulf Stream rushes up from the south while the cold Labrador Current pushes down from the north. When they crash together off Cape Hatteras, chaos follows. The mixing of warm and cold water creates turbulence. It stirs up sand from the seafloor, reshaping the coastline and feeding the shoals. One moment, the water seems calm. The next, it's a swirling mess. For sailors, this is a nightmare. Navigation becomes a gamble. 
the ocean is no longer a clear road. It's a maze that shifts with every passing tide. These wild waters do more than build sandbars. They build storms. The Outer Bank sits right in the path of hurricanes. When warm currents feed these storms, they grow into monsters. Winds scream, waves rise like mountains, and the islands are left at the mercy of nature. The forces at play here are powerful enough to create new islands out of nothing. They are just as capable of destroying them. Every grain of sand moves at the ocean's command. Every channel opens and closes without warning. This is the perfect storm of geography and ocean power. It has shaped the outer banks for thousands of years and continues to do so, with no signs of slowing down. Wartime perils, torpedo alley, and hidden dangers. The Outer Banks is not just a natural trap, it has also been a battlefield. During the darkest days of the war, these waters turned into a silent hunting ground. In World War II, German U-boats prowled just off the coast. They waited in the shadows, using the glow from coastal towns to spot their targets. This deadly stretch earned a new name, Torpedo Alley. Allied ships carrying troops and supplies sailed along this route. The U-boat struck fast, launching torpedoes under the cover of night. Ships exploded into fireballs. Survivors fought to escape the burning water, but many never made it. The ocean swallowed them, just as it had swallowed ships for centuries before. But the dangers of war did not vanish with time. Even today, hidden beneath the waves and buried in shifting sands, pieces of history remain. Wrecks from wars long past still lie silent beneath the surface. Some are discovered by chance, uncovered as the sands move with wind and tide. This coast holds more than natural danger. It holds the memory of battles fought above and below the waves. And it reminds us that even in times of peace, the ghosts of war still haunt the Atlantic's graveyard. Modern day perils, communities at risk. The Outer Banks has always been dangerous for sailors, but now, the danger is creeping closer to home to the people living right on the edge of this restless coast. Storms and waves are not just sinking ships anymore. They are swallowing neighborhoods, tearing apart roads, and dragging homes into the sea. When these houses were first built, they stood safely behind wide beaches and tall sand dunes. Today, the ocean is at their doorstep. Waves crash beneath their foundations. Wind and water gnaw away at what little land is left. Over the past four years alone, at least 17 homes have collapsed into the waves, and the number keeps rising. The reason is a natural process called longshore drift. As waves hit the shore at an angle, they push sand down the coast in a zigzag pattern. It's a slow, steady movement, but over time, it can shift entire beaches away from where they once were. Add rising seas and stronger storms to the mix, and the coastline retreats faster than ever. What's most chilling is how relentless this process feels. Even when the storms are gone and the skies are clear, the sea continues its quiet work. Day by day, year by year, it claims a little more land. For the communities of the Outer Banks, this is more than erosion. It is an ongoing fight for survival. Some cling to their homes with sandbags and seawalls, Others make the hard choice to leave. But no matter what they do, the ocean keeps coming. And it never stops. Climate change and the future of the Outer Banks. The Outer Banks has permanently changed. That is its nature. But now the pace of change is speeding up. The winds are stronger, the storms are fiercer, and the sea is rising higher with every passing year. What was once a slow battle between land and water has turned into a race against time. Climate change is the fuel behind this growing threat. Warmer oceans feed hurricanes, giving them more power, more rain, and more destructive force. When these storms strike the outer banks, they tear away huge chunks of land. Beaches vanish. Roads break apart. Whole sections of the islands drown under the weight of the storm surge. Even without storms, the rising sea creeps inland. Higher tides flood streets that were once dry. Salt water seeps into the soil, killing plants and weakening the very ground beneath homes and buildings. Every year, the coastline edges closer to collapse. 
Scientists warn that some parts of the Outer Banks may not survive the century. These islands, already so thin and fragile, are at the mercy of forces far beyond human control. People here live with this fear every day. They watch the water inch closer. They rebuild, knowing the next storm could take it all away. But there is still hope. Communities are working together to protect what they can. Scientists study the shifting sands looking for solutions, and every story told about this place keeps its spirit alive. The future of the Outer Banks hangs in the balance. Whether it survives or slips beneath the waves will depend on our choices today. The future of these islands is uncertain, but their story is far from over. The Outer Banks is more than just a stretch of sand by the sea. It is a living, breathing story of survival, struggle, and change. For centuries, it has stood as both a guardian and a grave. It has welcomed sailors with beauty and then shattered their hopes beneath the waves. Ships have broken here, homes have fallen, and storms have left scars across its fragile surface. But even as the ocean claims more ground, life continues. People rebuild. Scientists study the ever-shifting sands. Communities work together, determined to hold on to the place they call home. They know the risks. They see the water inching closer the winds growing stronger, but they refuse to give in. The future of the Outer Banks is uncertain. Storms will come and tides will rise. Yet this coastline is defined by resilience. The story of the Outer Banks is not just one of loss, but also hope. Whether it survives depends not on the sea, but on us.